Hello there. Thank you for joining in. My name is Aditya Singh and today we are going to wrap perspective in Python using OpenCV on a document. And it's worth noting that this project will provide deep insights into the working of modern day doc scanners. So this is basically what we wish to do today and we will be doing it with the help of OpenCV library which is a very powerful library in the world of image processing. Now the goal is to transform the image and that is uh, straightforward and tricky at the same time because it has two aspects. One aspect is coding aspect and then the other aspect is digital image processing aspect which, which actually deals with mathematics and how it's being performed behind the scenes. But that will be carried out by the library and if we stick to the coding aspect, it's a pretty straightforward approach because we are not going to do a lot of raw coding. We are just going to leverage the OpenCV library and use it to perform the transformation. And now before we begin with the coding, let's take one more minute to just realize what we are about to do. What we are about to do is mark four points on an image that will be the four corner points of our document. TL stands for top left, then TR for top right, you guessed right, BR for bottom right and BL for bottom left now. So these four points will be transformed to from red coordinates on the left to the right coordinates on the right. Sorry, green coordinates on the right. Okay, so uh, TL is top left. Um, that could be any coordinate like say X comma Y, which is non-zero and then on the output it's zero comma zero for top left. Uh, it's worth noting the challenging aspects when library is performing this for us is that uh, you may give x1 length which which is the length between tl and tr and x2 length which is the length between bl and br and it's not uh, equal as in x1 is smaller than x2 because of the way we click the photo of the document but in the output we want them to be equal so what's happening is in the output x1 dash should be equal to x2 dash and in order to do that, since X1 is smaller than X2, uh, X1 will have to add some more pixel values to uh, make it equal to the width of X2. And how do computer does that? So there are two options for computer to do that. One is to use mathematical approach, which is what OpenCV library is going to do. And the other is to use machine learning which is not going to be like predicting the pixels from all the training it has received in the past. So we are going to do the mathematical one. So I think uh, talking about this was essential because it brings into the picture of the role of image processing with machine learning and then image processing with OpenCV, which is non-machine learning approach. So uh, let me know if you want to dig deeper into what's happening inside image processing, how those extra coordinates are being uh, calculated. And it's uh, not very complex, but yes, definitely a separate video stuff. So let me know if you are interested in that and I'll be happy to provide or make a video on that. So with that, let's move ahead and get into coding. So right in this repo, I have my pi file and the image file on which we are going to perform the perspective transformation. Let's first of all check out the image file. So this is the index page of a book from Digit. I'm not sure if you are aware of it. It's a book edition from back in 2010. Let me know about your experience in comments. If you are familiar with this, I had a lot of fond memories about this in the age where internet was not so prominent in India at the time. But moving ahead, uh, let's transform this page into uh, doc scanner output so first of all we need to read this image using opencv and if you are absolutely new make sure you have done pip install opencv python and pip install numpy because we will be using these two libraries for this video so this is the first phase of the code where we are just trying to read the image uh, let's take a moment to understand what we are doing code wise so on line four, I am doing cv2.imread. Imread is a method from cv2 library that's used to read images. And you can pass absolute reference of the path of the file or relative reference. 
I am uh, using the rel relative reference since the file is in the same directory. I'm just passing the image name followed by its extension. So that is image.jpg and then we are doing I am show. I am show is used to pop out a window or a frame and that will display the uh, image. Uh, so it takes two arguments. First one is the string that you that will appear on the top of the window that's going to pop up and then what that window will contain the image file. So that's the uh, two arguments we are passing. So the frame will be called original and it will show the image from the image file we just referenced. Then cv2.wait key is used to uh, hold that frame. So zero is infinite. So it will infinitely hold it unless and until we press any key. And that's good. So let's run this program. Perfect. Actually not so perfect. Give me a minute. So a slight change. Uh, we are using cv2.resize to resize the image. So we do not, I didn't actually like the original size of the image. It was quite huge and unnecessary. We can resize it to down 360,480 x, y. So let's do that. And this is pretty, uh, pretty much better given the screen size of our computer. So let's stick with it. Now, next up, we want the coordinates of the four uh, corner points of our document that is top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. So we can do that or obtain that on MS Paint. We just need to drop our image on that. And when we hover our mouse on the uh, positions, we get the X comma Y coordinates on the bottom left of the screen. So the top left coordinate for our document is 269,101. Bottom left is 63,594. Bottom right is 462,719. And then top right is 571,220. So I'll just add this on our code and then we can connect back and progress together. All right, so I have typed all the four coordinates of the original image in points one as a NumPy float32 array. And in points two, what I have is NumPy float32 as the output coordinates to which the above coordinates need to map to. That is 0, 0, is the going to be the new top left, New bottom left will be 0, uh, x0, y480. And then uh, bottom right of the new image will be extreme uh, x extreme y extreme. That's 360,480. And uh, then top right will be y0 and x extreme. That's 360. So that's the output image we want, output coordinates. We want to map the above four coordinates. So that's what we are doing here. I hope that's clear. Let's move forward. So now we are ready to perform the transformation. We have the two set of coordinates and we are ready to perform the transformation. Remember, there are two types of image transformations that exist. One is um, geometrical transformation. That's what we are going to do. And the second is intensity transformation. Example of geometrical transformation is what we are doing now is geometrically transform the image. Example of intensity transformation will be scale change, color scale change, or uh, thresholding, that's that stuff we do for object detection, right? So let's uh, not talk about that. Let's focus on the geometrical transformation, but let's be aware there are two types of transformation and we are right now doing the geometrical transformation. So geometrical transformation consists of two components. First one is to get the transformation metric and we get that using cv2 dot get perspective transform, which returns us the transformation metric. And the second component is to use that metric to obtain the output. So what is this transformation metric? It's really essential as it's the core of perspective transformation that we are doing. And again, it's more of a digital image processing aspect, but it's worth taking a slight dive into the topic. So for image or for computer or according to computer vision, the image is not an image as it is to us. It's just a mathematical metric which has X and Y metric. So it's uh, X is X is like 1020. Uh, let's say the image is 
has the image resolution of 1024 cross 720 so it's just a metric of 1024 cross 720 along y and each value in the metric is uh is the pixel intensity so at 0 0 0 comma 0 what's the going to be the intensity of that pixel just tell me that at x comma y what's going to be the intensity of the uh that pixel just tell me that that's what uh, for computer the image is and since it's a uh, RGB channel it's not black and white the intensity value is an array of RGB where you give the combination that leads to different colors now so now we understand what's the image image is a metric transformation metric is again a metric which when you multiply the coordinates with you will get the corresponding output as what we desire to be. That is, with this transformation metric, if you multiply this image, 0, 0, forget about intensity. Uh, if you multiply the coordinate x, y, which was for us top left 269,101, in the output, it will become 0, 0. If you multiply with this metric, and uh, similarly, if you multiply the bottom left of original image, which was 63,594, it will become the bottom left of the output image, which was which we are forcing it to be uh, x equal to 360, y equal to, sorry x equal to zero and y equal to 480. So that's what this metric is about. I hope you understood. And how this metric is being performed is. Uh, much deeper thing and definitely a different video stuff so let's skip that and once we have the metric uh, we can perform the metric multiplication and obtain the output image in the form of an image and not just a metric by using cv2.wap perspective which takes in as argument as the original image on we want which we want to perform the multiple matrix multiplication then the metric uh, with which you want to multiply of course and then the size of the output that you are expecting and for us it's 360 comma 480 so with this we have the output image and we are outputting or uh, showing it on a window we're using im show on line 16 with a frame name as transformed image couple of adjustments so uh, in points one, instead of passing the top left, bottom left, bottom right, top right as coordinates, I have stored them in a variable and referenced them. And in numpy.float32, make sure that the array is inside an array and not just uh, separate arrays. Uh, it expects just one argument and it should be an array of array. So make sure you do that. And with that, we are ready to go. Also, uh, I have resized the original image and called it image resized and uh, we are going to instead of I am show image we are going to I am show original oh, sorry resized image and let's run perfect we have the original resized image and the transformed image and that's a wrap thank you for joining me today on this video i hope it helped you do let me know if you found it helpful with your thumbs up subscribe for more such contents in the future and in the comments let me know if you have any concerns or doubts and also let me know if you will be interested in digital image processing aspect with that let's end it thank you very much have a good day Bye bye